All right, welcome back everybody to Dark Souls 3. Um, all right, so full disclosure, I did try and record this already, and I got, I think got probably four minutes in, nothing happened, I didn't, I died one more time, I got my souls, I died. That was really all that happened. Um, nothing major, nothing big. Um, so basically, it's going to set off from the exact point, almost, that we were at last time. I got a little farther into that little, uh, our foray onto the rooftops of the cathedral here. Ow. And then, ooh, basically the, if anybody knows the layout of the whole level itself, or this outside portion, um, you'll know that there is an enemy that is, has a halberd and is in, uh, church, I, I suppose church rags. Um, yeah, he destroyed me. Always does, at least once. So, we need to go back for him. But yeah, nothing too big. Make sure we get up out of here. Before... Slugzilla down there comes up for us. <clears throat> yeah, I'm tweaking my audio setup just a tad. Um, it's very, very ghetto. It involves a chair and towels. and I'm not going to go into it, but it's very... Um, uh, there's a reason I don't have a face cam. Let's put it that way. Only for the moment. Only for the moment. Until I get some new stuff. I just want to be able to... I'm just trying to fine tweak audio because I, I, for whatever reason, audio is a big, like a big, a big pet peeve when it's not very good. Um, same with my the music I listen to, regardless of you know what genre you guys like. Um, whatever I listen to, whenever I listen to it, it's a big deal that it's clear and can sound as good as it can, or, or sounds as good as it can. And you know, still starting out, you know, not having a, t you know, a ton to invest in YouTube, but still absolutely loving to do it. Um, I refuse to let little things uh, no, not slow me down because things are things are slowing me down. But um, I won't stop just because I like it. I I really do enjoy doing this, and it's, it's I enjoy it so much that I'd rather tweak my setup and you know the things that I have to go through and do than completely stop because completely stopping is just that's that's bonkers. That's not okay. All right, so yeah, so basically we got through this first little chunk here, ow. I really hate these enemies, like just desperately, I hate them. Um, and honestly, I have zero idea how the health regain works on this butcher's knife. Um, I could be completely doing it wrong, I could be doing it right. Yeah, see, that's this is as far as I got. I killed these four guys and then got absolutely just destroyed, ow by the halberd wow yeah oh i was lucky i thought i was gonna die <clears throat> but yeah i got to absolutely destroyed by the halberd user that's down here not here not the oh ow yeah I, something else i kind of took into account is i heard someone say i don't remember who it was maybe it was um Maybe it was a streamer. I'm not going to attribute it to anyone specific because I don't remember who it was that said it. But it was, never leave an equipment slot empty. Even if you put on something, like, kind of, sort of light, not really. Just never leave anything empty. Because the, the elemental resistances you get are staggering. So I'm going to try and not leave anything empty and that's probably the best for elemental reasons that's the best in general for gloves i mean gloves don't make a ton of difference but it's probably enough that it will matter dog don't start your shit yeah i i have two uh little pups next to me one one is uh oh they're both kind of assholes but oh, wow we look actually i kind of like this chest piece it's all it, it, I don't know, it's, uh, somehow it fits with the, the butcher's knife. I like it. Yeah, it's this guy right here. This guy just absolutely just destroyed me. Come on, I know you see me. Burn, baby, burn. 
be a little bitch. Oh. Yeah, he has some... If you've ever... If anybody ever played Bloodborne or watched my Bloodborne playthrough, the thing I kind of echo through most of the DLC is delay. Um, so, or I said that very strangely. But delay in terms of timing. So all the timing in Bloodborne is for attacks, anyway, of ed especially with enemies and bosses. Through the whole game, um, a lot, you notice it a lot in the DLC. But, um, or maybe I noticed it a lot in the DLC, but that's just myself. Okay, yeah, and then there's this asshat with his flamberge that you want to get off the roof as fast as possible. And then there's this asshat. So there are five of those little, I don't know, I don't know what they are. Um, some, they're like thieves, I think. Their headpiece, I know, says something about what they are. I think they're, it's like a, a thief kind of thing. That's why they're, yeah, you. So this guy will throw Lloyd's talismans on you, or Hunter's talismans, whatever this game is calling them. It blocks your Estus recovery. And seeing as how I don't even have any Estus, whoa, he's still alive. That's, I wasn't expecting that. Seeing as how I don't have any Estus, it really doesn't matter. But I have red, red bug pellets, so that counts for something, right? All right. I do enjoy that my attacks stagger these things, um, because the Grave Wardens, at least in my personal opinion, are some of the most annoying early game enemies in this game, period? Or in any really Souls game, except you're, unless you're, you know, you're going to talk about the dogs or, you know, Ooh, I got an Estus charge. Cool. Alright, so yeah, so just be aware that there's a second one. Yeah, they don't play fair. Woo! Alright. Ooh, fucking sneaky. Sneaky snag. Sneaky, sneaky. Where did I hear that? Ooh, ow. Yeah, that was... No bueno. No bueno, Grave Warden. Yeah, and they, those twin blades that they have do deal a lot of bleed damage if you let them get multiple attacks in on you. So, especially um, li earlier in the level, if you noticed, we were in a graveyard with um, some of those leech enemies. Um, those particular enemies are do bleed like they give you an effect it's leeching i think i don't know i'm gonna say leeching because i don't actually know if the effect has a name uh but i'm just gonna say leeching um it gives you bleed build up for a good like a solid three bleed bars so it'll slowly go up over time and then it'll bleed you out and it'll slowly go up and then it'll bleed you out again and then you might have enough if you have enough resistance you can uh kind of fudge a third time but you know you know just barely get to it and then you know have it just wreck you but ooh, here's the boss i found him uh you guys will uh, get that joke later on because because i'm not going to try not to spoil anything but again th this enemy is basically our boss um, so those enemies are basically our boss fight. Um, now, I've bitched about, um, from Bloodborne, I've bitched about our, or the, the Souls games, the Souls game use of ad bosses. Um, we're about to go fight one, and there are a couple gimmicky bosses, as always, um, and there's a couple ad bosses. Um, if you don't know what I mean by an ad boss... Basically, all I mean is that there is, it's a one main boss that you, that has lots of smaller enemies in the arena. Um, if you know Bloodborne, Rom the Vacuous Spider is one of those fights in Bloodborne. Inherently just a pain in the ass. Alright, so, and we also open up that shortcut, which is good. But, like, Rom is one of those fights in Bloodborne. Um, another one of those fights in Bloodborne, I think there was... Was there one more? I don't actually think there were any more. 
add bosses in in Bloodborne. Oh no 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 no! The Celestial um, emissary is another one, and then meet our buddy down there. We will kill him. We're we're just gonna run for our lo dear lives now because we don't have nearly enough attack power with this dinky little. We want this first, and we're gonna try and fail to get away, but oh, we might be able to hit the doorway. Uh, well, he knocked us through the doorway, so I, I'm not happy, but it, it's better than dying. Um, but yeah, um, and then there's one more boss in DLC, which I can't for the life of me remember the name of. So this is a, a mimic, so everybody knows. Do I have any talismans? No, I have a dual charm. All right, well, we're just gonna have to kill it. Can I buff? Let's see. Can I buff the cleaver? No, that's interesting. I did not know that. It's probably because of that health stealing effect. Even though I don't know how to use it. Squarely landed hits for store HP. I have no idea how to do that. Oh, that's the first time one of those has caught me ever in Dark Souls 3. Ooh, oh, I survived. That actually kind of makes me happy. God, but they hit like a frickin' truck. I wonder if that means... If squarely landed hit means like a critical. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up because the effect... The effect is not... I'm sure it won't be lost on me. Um, so I am going to read this description. I'm not going to read everything simply because... Just just because it's not... You know, I'm, I don't want to do that. We should put that on. Um, I totally... I honestly forgot we even had the Grass Crest Shield. And that is totally my own fault. Um, and we're also going to put on that ring I just got. Um, boost attack when we're at full health. So it gives us some incentive to stay right at that little... Bobble of full health. Or like 98%. And we will use our range when we need it. So, but there is... Yeah, he's right there. Bam. Alright. So, yeah, now we're killing those guys in two hits. Yeah, come on. Come on. What are you doing? What you doing? Alright, yeah. We're gonna retreat because that those knights are no joke. Oh, and he's going to follow me. Fucking awesome. Oh, I did not mean to do that. All right, Estes. Let's think out a plan here. All right, here he comes. And I, but I don't see that little... Yeah, you don't need any more buffs, dude. You're, you're pretty fucking stacked right now. Ooh, I got him. Oh, I did get a, a little bit of health back from that. So I bet it is criticals, which would be interesting. Squarely landed hits. That kind of doesn't make any sense, but you know what? I'm... Why are you the most active dude on planet Earth? Like, I have never seen him this aggroed. Wow, okay. See, that's what I mean about the delay as well. Lots of enemies have that, like, the attack delay just to put you off your game. Ice! Alright. No, get him! Oh, seriously? Bullshit. I call bullshit. Let's see if this gives us health. It did. I don't think it did. Maybe it did. I don't know. It was, if it did, it was such a tiny, tiny amount of health, and it doesn't matter. So let's let's see if a regular like a backstab will do it. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. We'll try and get a backstab on him and see if that does anything. Well, that. Oh, and no Estus. Okay. 
I am going to leave that little bugger for a couple minutes. Alright, we're not embered. Um, if you are embered, there is an invader. It does look like backstabs. Yeah, there's the thrall hood. Um, it does look like backstabs give more health. So we are going to forego getting most of these items for the moment. Because I don't want to die. Alright, there we go. We're out of the sludge, muck, garbage. Um, and mainly I'm doing this because so I can go up in another shortcut. Um, just so we have the whole... Uh, and there, there is our weapon. But yeah, we're going to come back and explore this area in depth. In a minute here. All right. Bam. Open this guy right here. And so this is the door. We come up that ladder, and we we did go that way. So this is that that doorway. Okay. So. Ah. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katharina. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure? Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, if no one else could tell... Uh, that is not our Katarina Onion Bro for Dark Souls 3. That is... That is an imposter. And I was hoping, actually, to get this event. Um, because I'd like to actually go back up where we were because I want to cross these rafters because there's cool stuff up there. Or, well, there's cool stuff at the end because we can get over there. But this shyster, he's not Onion Bro. Oh, do do. oh, look, we're going to go get some treasure. Nope. <laughs> Shame on you, you greedy guts. Thought you could outwit an onion. So, well, say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. So this is our patches. Uh, that is patches the hyena for this game. Whoa! Hello! I did not physically know you did anything. So he like teleported. Strange. So we'll hack at his legs until he dies. Because him alone, like this guy alone is not that bad. Yeah, he's getting there. Ah, that was a bad idea.
All right, there's one. Now all, all we have to deal with is that giant over there, which is good. Um, one's out of the way. Not that they're a huge deal. I mean, I don't, I don't really have an issue with the. Yep. Nope. All right, and here's our second shortcut. And is he gonna follow me? If he follows me, I swear to God. All right, and this is actually where we're going to get up onto the rafters. And this is our second shortcut. Or, well, not the second shortcut, I guess, but the second door. Alright. So, that is... We're getting... We're, we're... Taking the cathedral on slow. Certainly not a fast process, but... It's not a slow one, either. Actually, if we wanted, we could be done with this area in the next, like, five minutes. Because we would be, we, I could kill the boss and we would be golden. So we're not going to do that though. I want to kill the other giant and do some other stuff. That's probably going to come in the next episode. Um, but still, it, it does not negate the point. Okay. What are we going to do? Hmm. I do want to upgrade the butcher's knife. Infuse. No. Like Pretty, be careful. Be careful, son. Well, very Level well, up. Then. Okay, can we get that strength? Ah, oh, shite. All right, we're one away. All right, let's see if we have enough souls to throw in. Some... There's our end goal weapon right there. And if you didn't catch it, be glad. It's perfectly fine. I kind of want to, kind of want it to be a surprise, but I kind of don't. I kind of want to just show it um, because it's really awesome. I love the weapon itself, and so I'm super excited to be using it in a like a real way. Can we? We can't get another level. Damn it. Okay, that's okay. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Yes. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna pop a squat, and we're gonna burn our bone shard, and then we are gonna go ahead and run over to Andre again. And oh god, I'm so close! I'm so close. Okay, what? Oh no 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 no! I want him to reinforce our Estus. Yes. Take my flask or, or my careful. shard. Oh, that sounds even worse. Um, okay. So we have... We got a tome. It's, it isn't for either of these. Reinforce. I can reinforce our pyromancy flame. Learn pyromancy. Okay. So he doesn't have anything we really want at the moment. There is one thing that he will get not too long from now um, that we are going to get. Oh, shut up. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Yeah, we're not going to use much, many sorceries. That's interesting. We could use magic weapon. Um, but seeing as how we can't Don't buff worry. this cleaver, I'm not going to worry about that. Actually, there should be an NPC that I missed, actually. Yeah, he's up there. And this, this dude's storyline is actually pretty cool. I followed it out my last... Mm. Unkindled, My last playthrough through this game. And fast on the trail of the Lord's absconded. Then these red eyes are for you. I love his voice. Thank you for cracked red eye orbs. And briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, he's basically I mean you could probably tell who he is. Um, he's, I don't know, he, he gives off the vibe of another, a uh, couple other characters in 
the Souls games. One is in Demon Souls. One is Yurt, uh, the Silent Chief. The other is oh goodness, um, Law Trek, the Embraced Knight. I think is his t his total title, or his entire title. Um, I think it's Law Trek of something. I don't remember exactly where he comes from though. Not off the top of my head. All right, so we are going to go ahead and we're not going to end it yet, quite yet. Um, there's more stuff to do in here. Okay, and then this is for the, this, okay, that's for the elevator. So, actually, if you need to, to get your bearings, so, the door I just opened, the big, big door I just opened is right through that doorway, and that is the, where the ladder is, where we picked up the Curse Ward Great Shield. So, it, this is the crossbow guy that kept shooting me and, and actually killed me right in that hallway. So, we'll go up. And this is also a pathway to a ring that a lot of people might want, depending on what they're going for in terms of build and playstyle. Ooh, the god, the da oh, the damage, the scaling is so nice. So that's the deep ring. So let me pull that up real quick. Because now we have a few rings. So it allows attunement of additional spells. So it would, as you can see at the bottom right-hand corner, it would give me three attunement slots instead of my two. Um, I don't need that right now, so we're not gonna we're not gonna wear it. Um, do I need? I don't really need bleed resistance. Not right now. I'm, I mean, I might as well put it on because this is utterly pointless right now, at least in my personal opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the blood bite ring on until we get something um, not useful, but more useful than the tiny attack buff that that's giving us. If it's giving us any at this point. Hey, dude, man. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you and your firebomb bullshit. Alright, where is he? There he is. Alright. Flame on! Bitch with the great axe! Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Sit down, you asshole. Asshole! Okay. Eh, no. And there's another one of those douchebags with the... See, that's where we're going. Uh, if we get there. Let's hope we can get there. Wow! No, he's just stuck, isn't he? Yeah, he's just fucking stuck. Okay, eh. Oh. Okay. God, he does. They do so much damage. That's okay. Because we kicked his ass. Alright, so we are going this way. This is our main goal. Actually, our main goal is over there. Like, just that direction. Um, there is a pathway, though, over there. Which is what we want. Oh! And that's death. See, yeah, I don't roll... <laughs> Don't roll on the top on the girders because that just spells your demise. All right, let's get on going. Oh, we're going the wrong way. 
All right, and since I've shown off this way, this direction in general, I, I'm just going to run for it. Uh, oh, don't. Yes. I, I knew that I was going to do that, too. I always do that. And I have fallen down that hole before, that pit, this pit right here. And it is death. It's no, it's not a secret. It's just death. It's just death dying. What? Chop, 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 chop. Heavy bolts. I don't know that that guy's ever dropped anything for me. Or, well, not to current memory, anyway. What da 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 Ow. Dick. So let's see if he decides to run off again. Hey. Hey, dude, man. And now he's the problem. Hopefully we don't die. Great. Awesome. I love it. It's, it's what I want to it's what I want for Christmas. Is to be summoned to another world and waste my time. Maybe I'll just jump off a cliff. No, no, it helps people. I can't just jump off a freaking cliff. Okay. <sighs> so how about this loading screen, huh? Gale Pine Resin? All right. Archangel Azrael. All right. I am kind of inclined to help him. He's got a kick-ass name. Why am I here? Oh, I see you, asshole. I saw that. And he looks like he's out of health. Ah, oh, it was one of these. Where's the host? Oh, are they fighting each other? Oh, okay. That's okay with me then. You know what? I'll help out the Mound Maker, because Mound Makers, I think, get fucking shafted a lot. Yeah, dude, I promise your spear does not heal that much. You're dead. He is dead, right? Okay, good. Oh, task completed. Cool. Good. Didn't waste too much time. Even though I absolutely... <laughs> that was amazing. Now, if anybody didn't see that, like, right in the middle of my screen, there was a... Uh, I tried to take a drink of Estus to restore my health, and just a phantom Estus just popped out of nowhere. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go back, and we are going to be right in the middle of Shitsville as soon as we pop back into my world. So, let's be prepared. Let's be proactive here, people. What are we doing? Oh, um, oh, okay. Oh, we're okay. So we're not like in the middle of Shitsville. Actually, that helped us out immensely. Hello, little man. Because we don't have that guy over there chasing us. So that's that was actually kind of helpful. In a weird, like, strange way. Ooh. Oh, oh. And there is our sword. At least the one I would prefer. Oh. Wow. Just, just the most prof 
professional camera angles on the planet. Alright, well there he goes, which is good, and I want this. Not that we're going to use the blessed gem, I just, it's, it's just one of those little things that I like to collect. I have no clue why. Everybody who watched Bloodborne, though, I have little things in Bloodborne that I just like to just grab and hold on to, so. Alright, I may just run him over to that little area. Come on. Come on, shit burger. Oh, owie. Ah! Son of a bitch. Uh. See, but that is also one of the reasons I want that weapon, is because it has this absolutely kick-ass stab attack just like that, that just kicks ass when you use it. So does the Lothric Knight great sword, but it's just, I don't know. I, I prefer the look of the, the big, you know, like the big ebony one, um, the, the Cathedral Knight. I like their stuff in general better. Um, I also like their armor set a bit better. So that's just me. I like the bucket helmet too, like the, the very... It looks very, um, not cathedral, I almost said cathedral, um, what am I trying to say here? Huh, that was strange. Um, it looks very, uh, my, I just, I'm having a brain fart. Um, it looks very crusady. That's what I was trying to say, or, or in the vein of the Crusades. Oh my god, really? Who hit me with a, an arrow? Huh, okay. That's where we're going to stop, because the only, the only reason I was going back up there is to get my souls. And now I have no souls. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going we're gonna to call it, and we're going to continue on those stupid rafters in the next one. Um... Yeah, hopefully we can get grab that sword at some point here. Um, I'm going to trek through the area um, and grab everything I can. We're going to meet a couple... Um, just one NPC, actually, That's that, you know, it isn't really a meeting. It just... they, they kind of just don't talk. Um, but we're going to meet that, and then we are going to go ahead and fight the boss in the next one um, and clean up this area. But, yeah... That's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, if you liked, go ahead and like the video. If you really, really liked, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button. Um, and if you, you know, want to add it to a playlist or, you know, whatever, go for it. Um, and if you want to comment below, criticisms, positives, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. I'm down to read them. Please go for it. Um, yeah, but thanks, guys. I will see you in the next part of... Dark Souls 3. The soul-crushing Dark Souls 3. Alright. Bye, guys.